fellow page turners and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat who reads. And for today, I wanted to just share a list of books for this theme. We're still in the midst of winter, even though it's been unseasonably warm here and in other places, we could still get back into that cold, dreary weather. There's still time for it. Blah weather, as I call it. So I thought it'd be nice to share some books that you can read to get you out of that funk. So these are like cozy books, books that feel like a warm hug. They just are happy-go-lucky or they're just comfort reads or cozy reads or however you want to go, whatever you want to call it. That's what they are. And so I got a sampling of books here I've owned and read that I thought I'd just briefly talk about and share why I think they work. So first off, I would say the whole, a whole author would be Mitch Albom. A lot of his stuff is like that cozy, nice, easy, accessible reads. They're not very long for the most part. But my favorite of his is The Five People You Meet in Heaven. This, I just love this so much. It's a, such a short, it's not very long, it's a simple story. Um, it's very reminiscent of like It's a Wonderful Life where we don't realize how many lives our life touches. And... The gist of it is, if you don't know, is the main, the main character has died and he is greeted in heaven by these five different people who affected his life, whether he actually knew them or not. And it's just so interesting, so cozy. Um, there was a sequel. The sequel wasn't as good, I didn't think, but this one was really good and I did like this, so... Up next is one I've talked about in the channel a little bit before, but this is Graham Simpson's The Rosie Project. This is the first in a trilogy of novels. It is the best of the trilogy. The second book isn't good at all. The third book's okay. But the best way I can describe this is imagine if Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory decided he was going to run an experiment to get a girlfriend. I mean, yeah, he did get a girlfriend in the show, but never mind. We're getting off track here. That's essentially what this is. Our character is a genetics professor and he writes up this 16 page survey to find a decent candidate and filter out all these different clarifications he doesn't want, like smokers, um, people running late. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, he does meet this girl and she doesn't qualify for any of it that he has marked on there and of course you know what's going to happen i mean it's predictable it's fun it's lighthearted. it's just a nice cozy read and it's perfect for the valentine's day season too if you're looking for something although as you're watching this it's already valentine's day so oh well this but this video might not even get views until it gets cold again but whatever all right then we have Gabrielle Zevin's The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey. Now, I love this book. I know there's people who don't like this book. But it's just it's a nice little lighthearted, moving little story. The guy lives alone in this book store he runs. And it's not doing very well. Then all of a sudden, one morning, he goes out and someone had left a baby on the doorstep outside his door and his whole life just changes it's very i could say it's a little bit like a man called ove by um frederick bachman where it's the character you see the character grow as a person and it's just it's so cozy and i know i'm saying that about all of these but they're all light-hearted cozy reads that's what i'm going for so yeah that's another one it's a really good one for that reason All right, and then, of course, I had to talk about this one because this one is the one that actually started the list here for me. Even though I read some of these other ones before, this is the one I knew would go on the list when I first started brainstorming it. This is T.J. Clune's The House in the Cerulean Sea. I love this book so much. <laughs> it is so good. The fantasy is all interesting. The I mean, it's just such a light-hearted novel. The cover design is so fun. It's just an amazing cover, a great story. 
It was my favorite book of 2021, I believe. Yeah, 2021. It was my favorite read of 2021. I just really love this book so much that the guy is essentially a caseworker in the department of department in charge of magical youth is how they saw it. But he gets sent out to this orphanage on a distant island and the kids there are well, they're very, very special kids, I should say. They all have this really dangerous type magic stuff going on. And it's just, it's so cozy. It's so heartfelt. It's a hug in a book. You can hug yourself with this book. It's so good. <laughs> and then I can't give it a fair shake yet because I've only just gotten started on it. But if it goes, continues to go the way it sounds like it's going to go and how I've heard everybody else talk, I got to mention Travis Baldry's Legends and Lattes. I'm not very far in it yet, but I already know this is exactly what you need this time of year. It's cozy. It's heartfelt. It's warm. I'm excited to get into this. I don't think it'll take me long because I just started it and I'm already f really starting to fly into it. I'm already invested. I don't think it'll take me long to read this. So, yeah. Again, I'll just hold up so you can see them all here again. But yeah, that's just a brief little list I had. I had other ones and I was very... I was very particular making this list because I didn't want to grab a book that might have anything too scarring or anything like that. I just essentially wanted to get the light, most lighthearted stuff I could find in my collection. And I think I did that with these. But that's this is just a brief little thing. It's a short little video I brainstormed over the weekend and I thought I would do this. So what are you guys' thoughts? Have you read any of these books? What are a book... What are some books that you love that are just like a warm hug, that they're nice and cozy? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.